What's up guys, JV2017 here, and this is part 4 of my Rage walkthrough, so um, we will resume, and we got all those uh, buggy parts, and wow, I just wasn't expecting uh, <laughs> the camera again, so not used to how like, like off the wall crazy it is, um, but yeah, we are returning to... The Hagar territory, is it? Something like that? Oh my god. Oh, big, big jump, big jump. Uh, oh my god, that was such a fail. I was expecting big stuff from that jump. And, um, just did not get it. Sorely disappointed. No, I'm kidding. Alright. Uh, okay. Sorry. I'm fiddling with my game volume on my Tritons because for some reason it's all. It's, uh,. Much different than from when I played last. Alright, I think we're good now. So, let us enter this fine establishment. Those parts do the trick. Hey, Mr. Durar. Durar. You will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. What, don't crash it? The wasteland is a dangerous place. Oh, really? Call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. Uh. Also, if you need we have cell phones? Repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead okay. and grab that radio on the counter there. Radio off the counter. This is the radio. Oh, that's what he meant by call. Oh, uh, ho, 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 snap. Nice buggy. Looks like it's about to fall apart. It's so cool. Oh my god. I'm gonna run over a lot of little children with that. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. Why does he keep saying that? Is it like really hard to drive these things? Oh, they're like little go-karts. Woo. Nice. It, it like, yeah. Like, you can really feel like, it really feels like you're on the sand is what I'm been trying to say for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> Feels like you're on the sand, you know? Like you're drifting around, so it's a lot of drifting. But, uh, let's talk to Mr. Dan again. How do you like that buggy? I like it. It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Yeah. Now, you're ready for some more work. Pretty much, got nothing else to do in this hellhole. Bandits have taken control <laughs> of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance. Trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. Well, how dare them? We can't let that happen. No, we can't. I need you to use your special talents to kill people. For a demolition job. Ooh, demo, demo man. You think you can do this for me? Sure. <gasps> yes. Yes. It's a sniper. Yes. Good luck. I have a sniper and I can shoot people with it. Oh. Press A while zoom for maximum zoomage. Did you see it said zoomage, guys? That's cool. Okay. Yes! It's not one of those sucky snipers in the video games that are like, we're gonna give you a snapper. And it's like a shitty ass sniper. This is a cool sniper. I can already tell. Um, but I think it was uh, Billy Shibley's review on uh, Machinima that compared. What was I trying to say? God dang it, I don't remember what I was trying to say. I need to be a more careful driver because my buggy, it sounds like, can actually be destroyed. Is it, what? 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 Oh my god. Holy. Holy hell. Oh. Oh. Uh. What? Um. Okay. 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 Ah, oh. now get the hell out of here. I, I stepped into shit town, and they are the mayor because I didn't realize that I'd have to be dealing with people already. Where'd they go? They think I'm dead? Pretty sure somebody shot at me from up here. Um. Okay. 
I, I, I'm a little puzzled right now, but, um... It says I'm supposed to go this way, so... Oh, let's just go this way. I went the wrong way. Hey, partner. You're looking good out there. Here to test your skills on a course? Come back and see me if you dare. Uh... I'm a bit confused here. Is my active quest not active? Because I died? Oh, wait. I don't want Durar's, Dur Durar's challenge. This is active. What do I tell Dan? Holy shit! What the f fuck was that? Did you guys see that? Was that was that basically him saying get the hell off my property? I think that's what that was because that was crazy. Oh my god, I don't know how to drive yet. I have poor driving skills so far. Also, I haven't noticed that I don't need to park my thing in there every time. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. I didn't shoot anybody. We are in your debt. That was easy. So now that we can travel safely, it looks <gasps> like our time together may be coming to an end. <laughs> I love I'd you, like Dad. To keep you here. A Dad, guy like you is valuable no. in a place like this. No, Dad. But you're just gonna attract too much attention. No, Dad, I can't leave. The authority. I can't leave. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Oh, uh, what's that? Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east. Yay. And I've got to get a message to him. Okay. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Of course. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. All right. Can you make the trip? I think I can make the trip. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. Okay. It'll be safer there. Okay, see you, Dan. It's been fun mingling with you. I think we have a lot in common and we could reach some kind of mutual agreement of uh, men. Manly men. Okay, please don't flip out on me. Yeah. Thanks for the repairs. Ah, oh, I just fucked up my car. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so terrible. Okay. Time to leave. Get the hell out of this tower nation place. Um, someone's... Okay. Why are you watching me? Um. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh damn. Um. Someone said I pulled a Nancy Grace... And that means I farted in my last commentary. I'm not farting, it's actually my chair. Um, I don't know, I can't. Oh, damn it, I was too, I was too uh, consumed in trying to make fart noises for my commentary. Do you hear that? I'll do it when everything's quiet again. But uh, it's my chair, it's my leather chair making fart noises. Um, and actually, I take that back, it actually is me. I eat, I eat a ton of beans. And, you know, actually, farting is fun for me, and it doesn't smell, so you guys can Hold take that to the bank. You got business here. Yeah, I do. You need to see Mayor Clayton? Mm-hmm. Wait a sec. Go tell him you're here. Don't you move. That is a beautiful no, man that, need, no, that, that is wanted. Looks like Dan sent him. Interesting. Yeah. Send him to me right away. Right away. <clears throat> What? Oh, I don't need to hear your rules. I make up my own rules. Excuse me, Solomon. No. I will do nothing that you tell me to do. You can suck it, Solomon. What kind of name is Solomon? Sounds like salmon. And I don't see no fish fins on you, son. Alright, welcome to Wellspring. Um, I did not come here. So, from now on, the game is brand new to me, and I haven't done anything like this. But the first hour, I pretty much knew a lot of the stuff. Because so. once again, I played it at QuakeCon. 
But uh, yes siree in DDO to the boss face. All right. This place is just, it's beautiful. Look at the, look at the view, look at the, that looks, you know, precariously perched on those, um, on those support beams on top of that, you know, you never know when something could fall down and hit it, but, uh, you know, who's, who cares? Hey, Caleb. Did you just come out of Stupidville? No, I'm kidding. If you're looking for a race, go see Jackie Weeks. Jackie He's Weeks. He's in the back of town. You can't miss him. Look for the gorilla. That's funny. Thanks. So oh, he's in there. Okay. Let's say mayor. Yeah, office of the mayor. Guess you can't. You can't whip out your pistol in here. Hunter. Oh, you're so cool. Oh, you're so cool. Man, those are some dilated pupils. You uh, you taking some LSD, son? Some uh, taking some drugs, some hallucinogenics, taking some uh, some bad stuff. <laughs> Why, hello. To Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Yeah. The nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Okay. Good people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Yeah. Let's have it then. There you go. We're having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Yep. Deadly even. Well, mm -hmm. I can get all this stuff he needs. Okay. It's gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. Yeah, I'm sure he does, now, cause I'm a boss. You, you can stay here at Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. What? You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So you'll need. What do I look like? I'm invisible. Ah. Uh. Go see the vendor in town. Get some good. Glad we understand each other. Come back. We can have another little chat. Oh, what does that mean? I'm not interested, Mayor. I am not that kind of person. I don't enjoy your face. Um. Yeah. Have you noticed there's very little women around here? It's kind of, um, it's kind of interesting. Interesting. Find the outfitter. Where's the outfitter? That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Hey, 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 hey. Did I ask you? He kind of looks like an actor. I don't know his name. Jackpots. Jackpots is closed. Authority is gone and shut her down. But if you're looking for a game of chance, keep your eyes peeled for pickup games around town. Why do they call you Olive? I want to know why they call you Olive. I'm a little suspicious why they call you Olive. You got a weird little helmet on there, Olive. Ew, is that blood? Or is that just like rusty crap? Here's a big old pile of rusty crap. That kind of looks like a big daddy helmet. There's the outfitters. Will you look at her? This is cool. Are they playing Call of Duty? Tombstones. Destroy the mutants before they reach the sheriff. Each crosshair rolled will kill one mutant. The fewer the rolls, the higher. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'll play that later for you guys. Hey Ginny. Are you from Harry Potter? You don't look uh you don't look Harry Potterish. I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. Okay. He best keeps low profiles he can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm? Hello. A man from the past walks through my door and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less... Well, noticeable. <laughs> okay, let's do that, Mr. Coffer. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Oh, this is cool. Is this like a little class system? I look like a local. Receive discount on all cash. Ooh, that's cool. Vehicle parts not included, of course. 
Roughnecks are rugged. Increase your protection from all stuff that hurts. Vehicles not included. Um, build, build stuff like a pro. Enhance most of the cool things you engineer. Pocket protector not included. No, okay. Best of all worlds combines all characteristics of the available suits. Oh, that's that's what I unlocked from the pre-order, so I'm going to pick that. Yeah, I'm going to play with this armor type. Very nice. A man with taste, I see. An excellent selection. Yes, I know. I buy and sell I'm very excellent, I know. Okay. I have all the best supplies. Assault rifle stabilizer. Keeps it stable even if you aren't. Ha <laughs> No, it's not funny. Good day to you. Good day to you. Don't eat, don't back sass me, sir. Alright, I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, I think I look pretty I think I look pretty hoss boss. Crimson Elite. Beast. Beast of fire. Alright. So change clothes. Return. Okay. I was about to tell me. I just jumped the gun. Don't hump me, Benjamin. What, you think you're so cool because it's Benjamin, it's not just Ben, because you're just you're so important that you need to be Benjamin, because, cause, you know, you feel like you got to exercise your individuality by being Benjamin, not just Ben, because there's a lot of Bens and there's not a lot of Benjamins, because people like to shorten their names, because Benjamin's really hard to say. I'm going to shut up. Okay. Who's that, Mr. Sir? Who cares? Hey, Mayor. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside <coughs> my town. Okay. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Okay. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. After you talk to Mick. Go see Sheriff Black. Sheriff Black. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mix Garage. There's Mix Garage. Okay. No one says rubbish. That's such a it's a British thing. Hey Mick, Mickey, Mickey, Mick. How did do to you? How did do? What can Mick do for you? He did a lot of things, Mick. Oh, a garage? Well, you come to the right place. Okay. So here's the deal. Fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal. Okay. And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, yeah, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, what? Just get on the radio and get me Alright, so basically, if you break <laughs> your car, you gotta call him. Who are we gonna call? Get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Thanks, Mick. You look like a guy where I'm gonna play poker with on Friday nights for the next few years until you die of, like, age. Because you kind of look a little old. You got that Morgan Freeman... Uh, freckle thing going on on your on your on your uh, cheeks. It's kind of cute. No, I'm kidding. Wait, Rat Rod. Oh my God, sweet. That's the one that I got from uh, pre-ordering. Awesome. Don't, I don't want to go anywhere. Just gonna keep it there. Okay. All right. So now I gotta go see Sheriff Black. Did he tell me where Sheriff Black is? Maybe he's in the bar. I heard sheriffs like to drink. Spectre. Didn't the authorities say that stabilizers are out there about some new technology? Yeah. Dallas, Dallas, hey, hey. Oh my god, he looks horrible. Seriously, you name this guy Dallas and he looks that bad? Looks kind of racist, is what he looks like. Look at him. Doesn't he look kind of racist? I don't know why he looks racist. All right, um, Pollard. I like how everybody has a name. Oh, cool! They have little TV screens. That'd be really nice if they had those in restaurants nowadays. Hendrick. All right. 
we are going to stop for this episode, and we will pick up with part five of my rage walkthrough. Talk to you guys later. Peace.